It's your boy, Sats B. Hey, so I just wanted to show you something. Um, it is almost 1.30, and I'm just starting to work on the edits. It's been a crazy busy day. And I went to the gym to get my, I went to the gym, get my energy level up. I'm gonna work on the edit. It's about 129, 130. I hope to be done by four o'clock. And then off to bed. Yay. Good morning. It is Monday morning, 6.30. I'm going to add myself into it. Her list is done. Thanks to me. That was in Oakville on, uh, on Saturday. I got to go back today, this morning, to meet with Michelle. Okay. Join me for a day on the road. <laughs> I'm being lazy. I should have went back inside to throw it out, but I'm running. Uh, I'm running late. I just don't feel like going back into the house. So when I come back tonight, if it's still out there, I'll pick it up. If you end up picking it up, my bad. Thank you. Appreciate it. I gotta get some coffee, get a get a bit of grub, and get on the road. Uh, you know, half of the time I spend in business is out meeting people. Um, but getting out there and meeting people is really important. But man. I grew up a very shy kid, so this is not something that um, I was naturally good at. And it took years and years and years of working on it, becoming more confident, getting through my fears of small talk and, and, and really reaching out to people and making connections. Uh, the trick is to, is to become 51% of somebody else's life. Meaning, in a relationship with me and you, I want to have an upper hand on my value to you. Whatever it is, I try to be... 51% in any relationship by adding more value than people expect. Whoa. Finally in Oakville, going in for my meeting. I need some coffee. I was going to get something before I got here, but it looks like I'm going to have a coffee here but man uh, I gotta figure out how to break my coffee addiction look at that 842 first meeting done on to my second meeting at 930 look man the hustle is real you know people talk about people talk about working hard and trying hard and I tried my best if you're not willing to do whatever it takes to get to achieve your dreams you're not trying. talk a little bit about success today. Success is a definition of three things. Your life, what you do for a living, and how well do you know yourself. Now, all three are really important. They can't exist without each other. And most of you don't understand that you need all three. In fact, most of you only focus on one thing from the day we're born, from schooling, to what we do is work. 
We're trained to think about what we want to become in life, but very seldom do we focus on the other two, life itself, and more importantly, who are you? Self-awareness is a critical part in success, and the more you become self-aware, the more you become aware of what success means to you. Last week I dropped off the iPad for Layla, so we're gonna go pick that up today from Chinatown. Like every time I'm downtown, I'm in Chinatown somehow. The one thing about the vlog that really bothered me and how much I care about other people's opinion of what I'm doing at the moment. It's like, I know it's weird to walk around the city with a camera in your face and talk, but I've always said, I don't give a shit what other people think. But having this in your face and walking and talking, it's kind of weird, because now I'm like, I can notice when people are staring, and I get self-conscious, and I don't get self-conscious, I'm not that guy. I want to, whatever I want to do, I just do it. So now, maybe it's the fact that I'm downtown, maybe it's the fact that I'm walking around with a camera, but it just, sometimes it feels a little weird. And I'm fighting that urge to, to like stop it but the whole point of this project is to fight those urges and not stop so uh, today I feel more con self-conscious than I normally do and I don't know why $80 later got the iPad back Shaggy's gonna be one happy kid I'm out for like an hour now walking around I don't know why now it's starting to rain. I'm starting to feel it. I gotta find a place to go to real quick and hang out. I'm hungry, but I don't know what the hell to eat today. I'm just gonna chill out, get some Chinese food, and head back to the office. It's not raining heavy outside. Is it still raining? Yes. Shit, it's raining, yo. I'm caught in the rain. I didn't know it was my size. Total, $300. Dollars. Hammer and the lock. Okay, so you happy? Really? Can you grab the bike for me? Went for lunch, bought a bike. So I think I finally figured out why I was having such a horrible day. And I think it's because um, this morning when I was walking to work and I had my camera on and I was talking and for some reason, for a split second, my brain was like, uh, what are you doing walking around the city with? A camera in your hand and what if people see you and clients drive by and I just had this moment where I just felt like um, I felt like this is wrong or this I shouldn't be doing this because other people are gonna watch and judge me and I never think like that and so that kind of bothered me on why that thought even come in, came into my brain and then I couldn't get it out of my brain I, I became self-conscious all of a sudden and then I was upset that I let my brain get me to this spot. Um, that's one of the things I'm trying to do with this vlog, to fight my own little inhibitions and, and break through um, this, this assumption that um, other people's judgments have any value to me. And that's what this is about, to push my own personal comfort level. And so the fact that the morning, this morning I thought about it and then it stuck in my brain and then it sort of messed up the things that I was vlogging and what I wasn't saying and, um, and I tried to break through, but I just couldn't today, man. And so I need to just think about what happened today. The best part is, regardless of how I felt this morning, my mood's about to change in three, two, one.